Hello there. This is Tequila with Southern Twain. This is thrift haul number tres. Today I went to the Goodwill bins and I found a few things. Not very many things at all, just a few. Most of them are not clothes, which is kind of odd because I normally find clothes and nothing else. So take the walk with me and I'll show you what I got. First off, I got this cute little bikini top. Um, this is brand new. It still has the tags attached. Um, at the end, I'm going to tell you what I paid for everything here. And you're going to be surprised at how little I paid. Now, this normally retails for $36. And I paid just a fraction of that cost. I have another bikini top. This one does not have the tag on it, but it looks like it is brand new. So I'm going to list this as new without tag. Um, let's see. Does it tell me which brand? Yes, that is the Exhilaration brand. Does anyone know for 10 points what store carries Exhilaration? And three, two, one, zero. The answer is Target. Next up, I have here just a jumbo book cover. I'm actually going to keep this for myself. Um, in my classroom, what I do is I just hang these on the back of the kids' chairs. And that becomes a seat pocket for them to put little things in. Cool trick I learned from Pinterest. Next, I have a Campbell's Soup Thermos. Pop this baby off. You take off the lid. You pour your hot soup in the cup. Mmm, Campbell's soup warms the soul, just like Mama used to make. Right out the can. Anyway, I found these sets, this set of measuring cups. This is like, I believe, the second set I found. Um, I found another one at the bins in a different spot but um they are one two three four pieces here they're stainless steel and i think i could turn the dollar on these not sure how many dollars but now this when i saw this i was just looking through the bins wasting time killing time until they brought out the next set of bins that's something that um you won't know unless you go to the bins what they do is at the ones that, that move a lot of things, they bring the bins out. You have time to look through them. After they see that everybody's looked through them, they're standing around. They take some bins out and they pull out some new ones with fresh, new, old inventory. And while I was waiting for them to bring the bins out, I saw this and I almost died. I love Frasier. I've seen like every single episode, just about. And this is an unopened fourth season DVD set of Frasier. I looked at the comps, it was like $7.99, which is not much. So I might just end up keeping these because I love the show so much. Now this is a Melissa and Doug Hide and Seek Farm. It says it's a magnetic activity board. I didn't realize it was magnetic. So you just open this up. Oh yeah, it is magnetic. And you see the little animals there. And I think they come out. Yep, they come out and play. How about that? So that is only missing one. Whatever little creature was here is no longer there. But everything, every other animal is in place. So Melissa and Doug um, puzzles, they go for a pretty penny. I'm looking to see if this one maybe has a price sticker on the back from the store, but it does not. So I don't know how much that's going to go for. One of my favorite things is a Leather Dooney and Burke. This one is an older edition. It doesn't have the big duck or the awl as I love. And as you can see, this one is very grimy. It looks like it has some, some mold growing on it, but that's nothing that a Lysol wipe can't get rid of. Um... 
I don't know how well that will do because there's a, quite a bit of Dooney and Burks listed on eBay, but I'll take my chances and see. Next up, I have a Cold Water Creek white leather purse. Now this one still has a sticker on there. I guess when they tried to sell it at the Goodwill, Goodwill retail for $6. Ha ha, suckers, it didn't work. So it, it ended up at the bins. This is um, dirty, as you can see. Don't worry, I'm gonna clean all these things up before I actually list them and send them away to my customers. I was excited when I found this little beauty. Starbucks mugs, I heard, do very well, or they at least sell. And um, I'm gonna see what I can do with this one. I also managed to find a Disney MGM Studios mug. This one I didn't realize is from 1987. It says so right there. So hopefully that will help me to sell it quickly and at a decent price. I know it's not going to be an arm and leg, but hey. Next up is this cool little belt. Um, I'm not into things like this, but I think it's cool and I know someone will buy it. This belt is made out of a rubber and it has these um, these soda tops and the buckle is like a seatbelt buckle. It's from littleearth.com so I think that's pretty cool. I also found this Starbucks coffee. Um, I would say it's a water bottle. I don't know why Starbucks would make water bottles. So maybe it's for one of those little instant lemonade powder packs and you put your water in there and you shake it up you can make your little savanna iced teas or something and uh, it has the handle for you to hold it so you can look fashionable while you're sipping your mm, savanna tea or whatever this is a think tank um, thinktankphoto.com is what it says be ready before the moment are you thirsty? Okay. Um, I looked this up. It looks like a camera bag because of, you know, it's saying photo and everything. But um, I don't understand how you wear this thing. Yeah, I don't. But anyway, they had some other items that were think bags, think tank bags, and they went for a pretty penny. I didn't quite see one. Well, I didn't see one that quite looked like this, so I don't know how much I can get for that. I may just throw it up on the auction and see. Who knows? And last but not least, when I saw this in the bin, I was like, are they crazy? People are standing around while there's a Cole Haan signature leather jacket just laying in the bins. I almost died. Not really. But then I did almost really die when I found out that it was not leather, it's poly, polyester and polyurethane. The outer is polyurethane. And it crushed my spirit a little bit, but I recovered because it's so cute. I'm going to try it on for you. Even though it's a little snug, and I wouldn't buy it for myself because I can't fit it. It won't zip. But um, it's rather trendy. It has that quilting, and it looks like leather. No one would ever know ever know if you um, didn't tell them. So, I think that that will sell. It has a little gold emblem back there somewhere, if you can see it. But I think that's pretty cool. And that was my haul from the bins. Now, I also have a huge amount of books that I got from the same trip. Um, I got a boatload of Curious George and the Birthday Surprise. I believe I, I may have gotten like 50 of those. I've never seen that many books at one time in the bins and they were all practically mint condition. Um, as you know, I am a kindergarten teacher, so I'm not sure if I'll give some to my my kids and to disperse to all the other kindergartners on my hall or if I may just give them to my kids and maybe sell the rest, I don't know. But I got about 60 books. So in total, I got about um, 78 items, including the books. 
So if you add all those things together, the total came out to $26.26. .26. And if you divide all those things, I, I think it ends up being like $0.34 cent a piece, something like that. I know it's less than $0.50 cent a piece um, once you average everything out, which is a great deal. As always, I thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below in the comment box. I will definitely get right back to you. Please subscribe, share, tell a friend. And as always, I thank you for thrifting with me, the Southern Twang way. Goodbye.